have, of course, uh, my guy, Crostein, who is going uh, Cassidin with uh, the same, same uh, spells. We got Exhaust and, of course, Ignite. And uh, so that is going to be quite interesting to see how that plays out. Exhaust, Ignite, and Brand up here has an Ignite and Flash. Interesting to note, neither of them took the Teleport skill, which is kind of one of those cornerstones of the one versus one world. You know, I, I could see how a brand, though, with Flash and Ignite could get the upper hand on a Kassan, and especially early on if he wants to uh, apply a lot of initial pressure and not miss his stun. So I could see where the Flash would definitely come in hand for a brand, rather, uh, more, than, uh, more than a teleport. And I'm going to adjust really quickly here to, to fix something. There we go. I'm going to do this real quick. Not to worry. I'm just also, yeah, just play with your UI there. Make sure you come on down to your bottom lane. I always like to pick severe go. for and take the boom or take the ricochet because I can just start clearing creeps faster that way. Also, try not to die. Sometimes dying to minions is just leads to an embarrassing situation. <laughs> <laughs> I've kind of done that before, and uh, trying to cast through a gray screen looks totally awesome here in uh, on the vod after. So. Uh, we do got Brand. He is go going for the boots and health potion as his starting and uh, starting combo. He has 17 in ability power with no ability power items, so he's definitely sinking a little bit in from the masteries and his runes into that. And he has movement speed of 376. So with enhanced movement speed one, definitely looks like he's rocking some quints as well in there. Yeah, for uh, for Kassin in here, he actually went uh, Mechie Pendant and uh, two HP pots. So he only has one ability power. So getting the ability power, of course, in the Mastery Tree. And uh, <laughs> I instinctively looked at myself. And uh, rocking 31 Magic Resist, 17 armor. So very low on the armor. And then 324 movement speed. So he looks to go more sustainability. Just kind of outlast if possible and poke at him with his Q. And uh, most likely, of course... Uh, is E, which is the AOE. Yeah, he did, well, poking is actually a pretty decent strategy here in the one versus one because if you have to force them to town, you cannot lose that tower. Any kind of pressure you can put on these towers later on snowballs to just a catastrophic level, and it's def definitely something done a little bit by the by the top tier in the one versus one clan. Uh, so uh, uh, the other note is you just got to move around a little bit down at your tower to avoid those AFK messages, and we should be good to go. <laughs> yeah, and you know, Cassandra versus Brand is actually a pretty good idea because of the silence if they get into a heated battle that extra little silencer could mean the the difference between life or death oh we do have uh first initiation though by nintendo dude x getting on a uh, crosteen there with his uh pillar of flame that does a lot of damage at level one uh, as you can see there he lost already a couple bars of hp but nintendo dude x only has a couple of bars oh he just leveled up so he did gain a couple more but he only had about four bars of HP starting out level one, so not investing too much in extra HP or anything. Crosting though, does look like he has HP quints or something of that effect because he does have more base HP than one would expect. But Crosting taking a lot of damage from that burst fire from Nintendo Dude, getting that uh, Pillar of Flame off every single time, and then, of course, getting his, uh, I think it's Conflagration, which is the AoE spread spell, and uh, doing just so much damage to him, that's one thing. If you're going to avoid all of the damaging spells of a brand, the one that you got to avoid the most is his Pillar of Flame, because that is going to be his number one bread and butter skill. I'd almost actually wager that he has some mana regeneration runes as well, because his mana has just come out like, at a decent rate. But yeah, look at that, taking out those creeps, no problem. Catching Crosstein a little bit in the crossfire, and the creep kill score is actually going to be reflecting a good amount of farm here for Nintendo X. He's up to 14 over 7 right now for Crosstein. Now the creep kills, I mean, they're not going to actually matter, they're not a deciding factor, but hey, next time you go to town, you're going to wish you had some of them so that you can spend that I'm, I'm almost thinking that he Crosstein should focus less on using using his Q on minions and more on harassing Nintendo with that. Because Nintendo is just having, he's got three HP pods and he's got boots. He can do this all day if he wanted to. And uh, not having to worry at all about any kind of harassment from Crosstein. It looks like Crosstein just wants to get up to level six or level five or something to do some uh, actual damage there. And I'm taking fire from minions at the at the tower. And uh, But um, Crosstein here just needs to put a little bit of pressure on him too because right now there is there is no pressure whatsoever on him 
Well, the movement speed advantage is for an intent dude, and with his extra range there, I mean, right now Kasten is looking a little timid. Every time he comes into range, he gets off an auto attack, he has to avoid those spreads. So he's just definitely playing it a little passive, and that you know, might come back to bite him uh, in the rear a little later on. As I said, any kind of pressure you can put on these first towers could definitely snowball very early as in like later on in the game you might have a one hit point but if you leave that tower and it goes down you lose so yeah um and you know coasting is not hitting all of his cues on minions uh he he's hitting some of them but he's not hitting every single one if you're going to spend your mana on uh you know getting those last hits in you need to make sure that it does secure a kill because i've seen here that he actually has missed quite a lot and see finally using his cue on nintendo duex Possibly saving himself a stun if uh, he actually would have used his Q there. And uh, Crossing is backed up to the tower now. And Nintendo's just uh, having free reign to auto attack that tower there. Taking a little bit of damage, but, you know, finally actually wasting an HP pod. But he's got two more to boot, you know, and uh, just not taking a ton of damage. And look at look at Crossing there taking a lot of damage, but so does Nintendo. Nintendo looked like he actually took a tower shot. I wasn't, I couldn't see it uh, as quickly as it all happened because I was trying to pay attention to all the abilities going off, but... Now, uh, Crossing is forced to go back here. Nintendo is going to be pushing up against the tower. And this is where Nintendo needs him to make a decision. Does he push against that tower? Which I think he will because he still has uh, two HP pots at his disposal. Or does he go back and buy some items? And it looks like actually he might go back. Uh, on my screen, he has actually come off the screen. And so I do not actually see him anymore. So I'm just assuming he's backed off to go buy. Yes, he's definitely gone to town. He has those two health pots still. As I get a, have to defend my tower, but it does. It looks like he sold one. Not too sure what he's going to go for yet. Uh, he's actually just going to wait for a little bit here for gold per five. Doran's ring, no magic mantle, and a mana potion are going to be coming back into the ring with those. So no big huge item yet. He only has about uh, 40 creep kills now, 39, and no kills yet. The tower pressure kind of minimal right now. They have been f trying to focus on each other more than pushing that tower, which is fine. It's definitely one of those more long out, drawn out strats, but it could definitely pay off. But the big issue now is Crostine is six. Brand is six, but Brand's ultimate, I'm not, unless there's a lot of those minions around, it's actually going to have a very big reduced effect in this game. In fact, with too many minions around, it'll have the same reduced effect because it'll just bounce off the minions and not come back to Crosting. So in the best case scenario for for uh, Brand is to catch Crosting with only a couple minions around. That way, it bounce, with full HP, that is. That way, it'll bounce off those minions and actually come back to them. Otherwise, it'll bounce off all the minions before it comes back to Crosting, possibly, making it just a one-point wonder. Or a one-hit wonder, rather. A <laughs> one-point wonder. <laughs> oh, and a little bit of extra damage there going on, Nintendo dude. So Crossing finally being aggressive there, taking out about, uh, looked like a quarter of HP, yeah. But uh, Nintendo dude returning the favor, getting some good damage on Crossing there. Crossing, of course, picked up boots and a couple extra HP pots when he came back to the lane. And uh, Nintendo also picked up a, a mana uh, a mana pot, which I did not realize he had said he did. But uh, Crossing there, obviously looking to avoid those pillar frames if best as possible and uh, not have to worry about that. And Nintendo dude using his uh, his stun there to uh, take out a creep from afar does not want to get too close to uh, Crossing now that he knows he's going to be aggressive there. And uh, it's kind of just like this Mexican standoff at the moment. They got three creeps there in the middle. They're <laughs> trying to last hit. And uh, Crucian finally takes up the tank creep with his Q. It's Null Sphere. And he just keeps getting hit by that pillar of flame, you know? Well, it is a little hard to dodge if he positions it just exactly right. I mean, you only got a, what, less than a second to react to it. So, I mean. What I find is the best way to hit a pillar of flame is when they go up to auto attack the creeps and actually get them when they're stuck in between the creeps because of the pathing, uh, the timing. Oh, and Nintendo taking a hit from the tower. But because of the, the, the path timing and actually taking a second for you to get, you know, find a proper path to get out, uh, you end up getting caught in that anyways. But uh, usually when I when I play against Brent, I don't seem to find too much of a trouble there actually getting uh, hit by that if you if you just position yourself quite wisely because if you're paying attention to the ground, and we have some damage on Nintendo Dude. Nintendo Dude just not even caring. He's going for the tower there. Roasting though, chasing after him. Oh, and Nintendo dude. Oh, just made it! Violated Roasting <laughs> there. Roasting takes for all. Oh, Nintendo takes first <laughs> one. Roasting. Wow, he that was just a perfect bait. He waited for him to wait, come out of the, the range of the tower, and just unloaded into him. Wow. Yeah. So that's not game yet, Nintendo no. dude. No, he just told me it's game. But it. Well, okay. Yeah. It basically is. That's I don't. Game. 
take the tower right now. Yeah. That's a one of one. And uh, that was GG there for Nintendo Dudex, uh, using Brand there to his advantage and just blowing Cassidy up 1v1. There you go. That's how you do it, guys. So, uh, abated into the, the kill there. Cassidy definitely seemed a little bit timid, uh, a little bit too passive. I, it's actually the first time I've seen Brand do well in a game. Uh, so I don't really have too much more to add to him, but I mean Nintendo X has fa has ranked fairly high in these tournaments before, and he did come second in the 1,024 player one versus one tournament hosted by Solo Mid. So I kind of knew going into it, he's definitely going to put up a good show. Crostine's about to suicide. Bam! Right. There. I just accidentally reconnected to the game. <laughs> yeah, I'm so used to being click to continue to. <laughs> All right, so we're going to see what we can do for a second round match. Uh, hopefully all the other matches are starting to catch up. I do believe Jaden the Broker, if he won his match, he was uh, willing to do this. Otherwise, we'll find someone else. But stay with us here. National ESL Fight Club number 10.